my uh, uh, lecture today is uh, uh, really very really difficult, but uh, maybe the primacy of corporeality is uh, um, the opposite word of corporeality. What is the opposite? Spiritual? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, okay, okay. But uh, maybe uh, we don't touch spiritual aspects. So, and maybe uh, the opposite concept, uh, in this talk, opposite concept is up, some abstraction or uh, concrete, not concrete, but abstract. This is maybe the opposite concept. Okay. Um, maybe uh, um, I put uh, all of my uh, text on the PPT. And, uh, um, but uh, maybe I'll, I'll try to uh, 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 I'll, I'll read my uh, paper um, following this. But, but maybe you don't have to see it. The listening is very good. Okay. Um, uh, classic music. Uh, there is a group of traditional music and performing arts in Japan that boast of a continuous transmission that has lasted over generations without interruption and that has been authenticized as remaining today, exactly as it originally was, having had no intentional changes made to it. Uh, the typical genres are uh, ritual music of Buddhism and Shintoism, is the part of that. And the Gagaku, which I will show later, Gagaku, uh, which originated in Tang Dynasty in China. Uh, and the medieval no and the Kyogen dramas. This is Kyogen drama, and uh, and uh, the Heike Heike narrative. Heike narrative. Uh, the music of which was established about uh, 600 or 700 years ago. And I I use here I will use the term classic uh, uh, to describe. This form of music and drama, in contrast to rather newer and innovative uh, traditional performing arts, such as bunraku puppet theater and uh, kabuki theater. Uh, maybe Japanese students know all of them, uh, should know. And both especially uh, uh, established in 17th and 18th centuries. Um, the classic type of music and drama shares a common feature in, in, in their performance texture, the simplicity that entails silence. They love the vivid and active communication form found in common, uh, common performing arts and music, such as enthusiasm, laughter, deviation, or improvisation. Instead, their textures seem cold and sometimes inactive. Uh, if not asleep or even dying, or many Japanese say it's already there, dying. <laughs> and, and simplicity, however, is produced with a mood, mood of air, an air of strength, tension, and seriousness in performers' minds. Such simplicity with strength is found not only in the classic performing arts, but also in traditional arts such as Calligraphy, uh, this calligraphy and painting, and tea ceremony, flower arrangement, and also maybe uh, martial arts, such as this is archery. Uh, and, uh, those are uh, imitating the aesthetic, aesthetic practice of Zen Buddhism. Zen Buddhism. Another feature in texture uh, is the minute and fine discrepancy or gap uh, among participants uh, in what is sometimes a very slow delivery of performance. In the Gagak uh, ensemble, for example, we may find a small discre discrepancy or gaps uh, in between, between parts, uh, even when they share the uh, regularism. One part produces the notes on the same beat a little ahead and the other behind. Uh, let us listen and show, uh, see the uh, typical discrepancy uh, in Gagaku. Okay.
this is not fashion. All the music, uh, music and in instruments have such kind of notation. So we can sing it together. So, uh, Notice that the other beat is sometimes very extended, and the even beat is short. It's because uh, it's the reflection of Yang Yin system that comes from China. Yin Yin is the even beat. So the first other other beat is Yang Yin Yang Yang becomes long, short. Uh, this is uh, just notation, vocal notation. This is just not the song. The, uh, the performer of blues always say this song in his mind. Okay. So uh, every uh, musical instrument player is singing this in his mind. We 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 pick up uh, this again later if we have time. Okay, 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 I understand. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, next. There are some musical pieces uh, which are pro uh, performed with uh, such incredibly slow tempo. Next, we try to do this. Uh, they, uh, they comprise a lot of space without sound. A typical example, and, but this is very rare example, uh, is a rambioshi, a rambioshi in no drama. In the no drama, uh, performed by two players, a kotsuzumi a drama and a dancer. The kotsuzumi drama, it's a drama, like this. Drama uh, uh, articulates a fixed series of beat and drum call. Uh, to our surprise, the interval time between each action amounts to 14 seconds to 70 seconds. Uh, uh, this, this silence introduces tension among the participants as well as the audiences. Uh, along with the drama, uh, the dancer has to articulate the fixed series of beats 
with a series of actions such as footstep and body movement. movement. Let us see the, uh, let us watch the uh, action one. Uh, you can see again the uh, uh, okay. Stop. So this is a uh, very silent. Uh, metaphorically speaking, it is as if a ball is kicked into the pitch, air, uh, pitch black air, drawing an arch, and then after uh, 15 seconds, fall on the ground. So imagine the arc. Now where we? Each performer makes the next point with the prescribed action uh, when each is certain this is a proper point, proper point <laughs> at which to do so. They share the process for uh, producing the action, not the result. The result is the sound. But they share the process, the 15, 15 second process. Uh, this is, this is a, a transcription. So uh, the speech among these is sometimes 14, 15, like that. Uh, we may say that it is the individual performer who produces this, this, this discrepancy in the texture of the music in each performance. Uh, but this, in fact, derives a convention uh, followed in the learning community. Uh, simply expressed, the convention is a very uh, uh, contrasted to Western and uh, uh, common one. The convention is characterized as follows. The freedom of individual is severely limited. And the faithful inter imitation of a single teacher is forced throughout the career of the, throughout the, career of the performer. Uh, my hypothesis as an ethnomusicologist is that the convention originating from this practice produced the uh, uh, the discrepancy or gaps between the parts uh, in musical texture. Uh, so before looking into the, uh, uh, showing you the part of the practice, uh, I'd like to uh, let us touch the institution of transmission, traditional transmission in Japan. After the class 
of the patronage system of feudal laws around 150 years ago, an institution called the Iemoto, the literal meaning the house, house and uh, the base. Um, in what system developed within the Japanese classic performing arts? According to this institution, one professional has an exclusive set of students. The students or amateurs uh, keep the same teacher throughout their lives. They continue to pay tuition each month. At their recitals, they also pay for the support of their teachers as a co-player. Thus, amateurs are patrons supporting their teachers and the next generation. And uh, as modern people, we may suppose that we have the right to study under different teachers because we pay tuition. Uh, but in the Emoto system, the Emoto system does not permit such rights. One cannot change his teacher once he starts teach, uh, start studying. This relation is likened to a family relationship. Uh, you can change your experience <laughs> like that. In Japan, for example, uh, uh, the, to change one's doctor is, or even to get a second opinion from a different teacher is perceived of as a kind of betrayal. Uh, the Iemoto system operates uh, in the same way. So maybe, uh, maybe it's very difficult, but maybe. Okay, uh, now we are going to the observational practice. Uh, musical practice uh, um, may be generally described as within a framework of the for, uh, following two procedures. The, uh, the acquisition of basic patterns, basic first, and the application of those patterns in different contexts. Uh, this framework might be applied to all music practices, uh, including the classic type of music, drama, and ritual in Japan. However, this idea is not easily accepted by practitioners of those classic types in Japan. In the community of no drama practice, uh, there is a widely held idea that students should not engage with novel contrivances or express their own interpretation. It's very different from our, our part, common culture. This idea is strongly imposed upon not only students on the professional track, but also to amateurs who wish merely to enjoy uh, performance, and not only to children, but to adults as well. Uh, I experienced this idea it myself when I started taking private lessons in no fruit as an amateur. So now we go back, go to the dance. The dance, play, dance piece called Chunomai is learned by students as the beginning of the instruction in fruit. Uh, Chunomai, this is Chunomai is a specific word. Chunomai, uh, which literally means moderate or middle dance, is performed in more than 20, 20 popular no dramas. The main body of this piece is composed of a repetition of four phrases called Yochukan. We just see that your handout. It's, it, it has uh, figure two has uh, this pattern. Figure two A has this, that pattern. Uh, figure two A shows a uh, repeated melodic uh, melodic pattern at the Ryochu Khan in the eight beat frame. Eight beat frame. It should be noted that each phrase starts from beat two in eight beat frame. Yeah. Uh, okay. So now. Uh, Please see uh, your handout over here, and uh, let us, uh, I'll show you the example uh, by singing this. This is also, of course, this is a flute melody, but uh, uh, the flute player uh, has to remember this first before playing. Yeah? And uh, if you can, uh, please follow me, just, just imitate me. Uh, starting from two, two. Oh, ya, la, oh, oh. Okay, 
Uh, uh, next, um, this is uh, uh, mel melodic uh, counter. Uh, well, that's one I showed the rhythm, but this is the melodic counter, so you can you can follow the, the line. So maybe the handle is much better. Okay, shall we do this again? Oh, 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 So now maybe you got melody. This is more very one of the very representative melodies which is used not only no drama but also kabuki and uh, maybe rakugo of those things. Uh, okay, so now we look back. Uh, in order to explain how this melodic pattern is treated in practice, uh, I will briefly describe the procedure of my own lesson with my teacher. Uh, when I started my lesson in early uh, 80s, uh, my teacher made it a rule to write down the, the oral notation, the, the, the song we, we just sang. Uh, the oral notation and fingering of uh, flute in the notebook for each of his students. Every lesson in which a new piece was played started with this procedure. This is the notebook that I, I have. Uh, the, I thought uh, this seemed very ridiculous to me <laughs> for a long time because, it, you know, as you know, uh, it appears to be very pointless and took up so many, so much time. So other teachers was using the, um, the published one. So I thought it's very ridiculous. I was sometimes very irritated. And okay, so let's go into the learning process. Uh, for the first several weeks, he spent time writing down part of the oral notation in my notebook. After writing down some section, he prompted me to try to play the section by, him, by myself while looking at the fingering sign added to the oral notation. As I began to be able to play it, he started to accompany my performance by taking the role of drum using beaters. Okay, uh, now... Uh, let us show the um, uh, this uh, commercial commercial video uh, commercial uh, one. Uh, uh, he is the rival of my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm very sorry that I have to use. <laughs> this is a commercial one. So but, but his, his way of teaching is very rational, as a, so so that he published this uh, commercial video to for the elementary. So it's very. Um, different. Okay, now, uh, okay, so I will show you the video. Um, so, uh, maybe you can, you can sing it together. And, uh, okay, and also uh, to, to feel the beat, you can, you can clap. The clapping is forbidden, but uh, oh, it, now it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's let's together sing sing along. Uh, pass to uh, additional sign. Remember the memory? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
so uh, uh, ex- um, maybe uh, if you get used to, to the melody, uh, uh, many uh, teachers, this key is just beating, very simple one. And, uh, and uh, he shifted from this uh, simple beating to the actual drum beating pattern. Okay? So I trust you, you please, please sing, uh, please sing this melody. And I will, uh, not, uh, not the, that kind of beat, I will shift to the actual drum beat. So please uh, keep on singing without, uh, but not interrupted by me. <laughs> <laughs> But the sound is a little small. Oh, my drum. Yo, ho, ho. Yo, ho. Yo, ho, ho. Yo, ho. Yo, ho. You should okay. Okay, no more hit. <laughs> uh, this is a basic drumming pattern. So the basic drumming pattern always comes with the drum chord. Uh, okay, so now so I will take a chance to practice. Please pronounce like me. Yo! Like me. Yo! Yo.
Now, uh, now we are going to see the actual performance, actual for performance of the um, of the I, a drama. Uh, okay. Sorry. Um, so the. Uh, um, and the, the lesson, you, uh, and after the, um, and the after lesson uh, become the second stage. It, 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 when it becomes second stage, the lesson start uh, the teacher singing because uh, every the, this is an Adam drama, and the main character always start start singing uh, his monologue, and then it is followed. Dance is for uh, it is followed by dance. Uh, dance. So the lesson, uh, in the lesson, the, as my teacher is always sing the introductory song. That was part of my, uh, the main character's monologue. And, and he, uh, teacher always accompanies himself with the drum. And after hearing a sudden drum call, uh, that was meant to function as a cue, uh, and student would play the flute part until the end of the piece. Okay, so instant, this time, instead of demonstration of the lesson scene, now I will show you the actual performance of Trinomite drama, uh, Trinomite dance in uh, a drama uh, scene. Okay, uh, um, so this uh, scene starts uh, from the singing text. Maybe we can skip the singing text. And but after singing text, the uh, vocal chord is overlapped. The vocal chord is Yo ho. This is vocal chord by the drama. So after hearing yo ho, then start the uh, um, the fruit melody that you have practiced. Okay. Okay. So I give you a cue. Yo ho. So then you should start. <laughs> I hope you can do. <laughs> now introductory scene. You can give cue. No, please follow, 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 follow. <laughs> Don't do it by yourself. So, uh, dramas, dramas always start, uh, the, every uh, fruit melody, fruit passage starts with uh, yo ho. The yo, yo is first, yo first, ho second, then start. Okay? Never miss the cue. Uh, never miss the cue. Okay? Yo, one, four, two, three. Two, three. 
Now we have repeated so you can remember this melody. Uh, and please uh, put it in your repertory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I have finished just uh, one third of my book. <laughs> Um, it's, uh, okay. We go back to the. Um, sorry. We go back to the conclusion of the first part, but maybe we we we'd better to stop. Um, that uh, um, the point is uh, so Latin and. Uh, Learning is always uh, follow the your teacher. So uh, maybe the uh, um, if you try to play a new piece, you have to always go to visit your teacher. And uh, I, 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 as a researcher, I did sometimes uh, I I did not pay the visit. <laughs> and I was very much scored. Uh, very, yeah, it's very. Uh, so the, it says uh, it's very conventional, uh, even for a student uh, to, to play, put to place under the teacher's initiative and super supervision any new pieces uh, she may be trying. Even professional players uh, would visit a teacher to receive instruction when uh, she is to play. Uh, he has not yet uh, uh, not learned yet. It is, oh, you, we can watch uh, this kind of mentality typically in the tradition of home art, but maybe this mentality is shared uh, different areas. Sometimes I feel that scholars, scholars in the academic uh, world too, uh, okay, you have to, always you have to follow your teacher. And it's uh, very important, sometimes very important. I, um, um, Maybe this originally comes from Zen, Zen practice, Zen thought. Uh, then in Zen thought, it's very important to, uh, to obey, obey your teacher every time. However they say, okay, I understand that sometimes Buddha is very, very important figure. But my teacher said, okay, my teacher said, Buddha, oh, it is very, Buddha is a frog. Okay, so that from next day I have to believe the Buddha is a frog. This, this is the what then then so right. So um, uh, uh, and you have to concentrate on one teacher. Okay. Oh, I don't think Buddha is a frog. So I have to con consult the other teacher. It's not a. Uh, uh, yeah. This is the then way. And uh, okay, maybe I have to stop. Uh, so you can continue while we are eating. Ah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Um, maybe, but, but I, 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 I wrap up first part. Okay, uh, so that learning teacher with teacher uh, in front of the teacher every, before the performance is very important, and that's learning in here and now has having, having by having lesson in your piece with teach one's teacher is conceived of as the best means for preparing the student's performance. This is remind me of the passage in the Christian Thesis and Swords. This is uh, one of the uh, passage, uh, one of the most important work of Japanese culture uh, by an American anthropologist, Ruth Benning. This is very old work. And compare Japan with China, uh, we have specialists in China, and she describes the uh, attitude of the Japanese people to their ancestors. The quote. Filial piety does not, as in China, encompasses the line of ancestors for centuries back, nor the vast proliferating living clan descendant from them. Japanese veneration is of recent ancestors. The gravestone must be relittered annually to keep its identity, and when, and when living persons no longer remember as an ancestor, his grave is neglected. It is right. I don't remember uh, my, uh, I remember my grandmother, but 
I don't remember my grand grandmother. And, and the Japanese, Japanese do not value piety except to those remembered in the flesh, and they concentrate on the here and now. Many writers have commented on their lack of interest in this disembodied speculation uh, in forming image. So the, uh, my topic, corporeality, is strongly related to this the, the observation of Luz Benedict. The, and for, in every area, the um, embodiment is very important. Embodiment, and so if you go into the, some, going to, even student, if you go into the abstract idea, we, 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 in Japanese culture, it's sometimes, uh, uh, you have to be concentrated on here and now, uh, without thinking. <laughs> Without, sometimes without thinking. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, and so the Yamoto system, students also concentrate on a teacher's model as embodied in here and now. That's in the Yamoto system and the pattern which are abstract, uh, adequate, adequate, ad, ad, adaptable in nature are always produced as if they are corporeal or concrete. It was according to this concept of corporeality and correct, uh, concreteness, I believe my teacher keep on writing down the same oral notation uh, on my own students, each student's no, no, notebook in his own handwriting. He spent the time sufficient to embody the here and the now uh, on the paper. Uh, get this uh, my first part of my so, so, now, um, I'll wrap up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, I was going to say, I'll have a few minutes, just four more Q&A, and then start eating in an informal Q&A. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you said that it was very irritating for you to do this exercise. Uh, to write down things mm. that it bothered you, mm. but you did it anyway. Was there a point when you found the wisdom of your master and a reason for doing that and and felt that it would had value? No, I think it has value. Okay. Of course, of okay. course. Uh, I think that's because it's, it's, a, it's a symbol of corporeality. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So we can do it without, uh, we can use it to do it. We do without it. Thank you so much for a beautiful lecture. Even though it was only half, I think we have a, a great idea of what you were trying to say. And I appreciate the fact that you let us all perform with you, even though our performance, we need to follow our teacher much better. <laughs> I think it's interesting that you end with the here and now, but in fact the note theater in all these classical art forms have generations and generations. So it's quite interesting that in Japanese culture you have the here and now repeated and repeated and repeated, but always the here and now, which makes it a, a classical, which makes it... Um, and I don't know if that was the point of, of the lecture, but to comment a little bit about the, that parallel. Maybe if you, in your culture, the classic, from the word classic, you the all your, or, uh, maybe fantasy is to be happy all the time. For example, Greek, Roman, and post, uh, 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 and so the original post of the man, man. So this is, I, I think it's a typical image of something classic. But maybe in this culture, there's something old, something old must be Close. So, uh, um, so the uh, the demonstration of the depth of history is uh, um, demonstrated by who you have that, who you have that. Okay, you, if your teacher is in the open design, and this kind of what I say. So, but um, so uh, uh, so uh, for example. Um, and, and in, 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 the, uh, in my university, I sometimes talk with the piano teacher. And piano teacher in Japan always, I think, the similar kind of remote system belonging. So for example, so I, 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 I always talk about this. And sometimes the past students, 
per student give a good interpretation and bring a new and um, different version uh, of uh, notation. And uh, so it's sometimes confused her. And so and so so that uh, she sometimes said, "Who is your teacher? <laughs> notation or me?" <laughs> so of course, uh, in that case, in that case, she ha uh, the student has to ignore the notation. So so this is here now, and the transmission, the authenticity of the transmission is assured by this. Okay. It's very interesting. I've been enjoying this whole discussion. I'm a musician myself, and you just mentioned piano, and that's what I play, and that's what I teach. I've noticed this phenomenon of, uh, and I have had a Japanese student or two, of wanting to really just do what the teacher says. But this can be problematic in classical music with the Western tradition, when, of course, the notation is supposed to be the master, and the, the student is supposed to bring an insight, something new, to the music. But even apart from music, do you think this style of, of education, which is very discipline-oriented and very, uh, has lots of success, can also be problematic to a certain sense of creativity? Mm -hmm. I wonder whether this can this style of learning, which is very effective for the tradition of classic style you're talking about, can sometimes run into a barrier because of this idea of creativity, which is perhaps so much emphasized by Western Yes, very, but maybe still it's under undermined, I think. We uh, need very. Uh, I just wonder how the, the yeah. contemporary society now, for instance, whether we're talking about music and classical music, or we're talking about uh, creativity in general, yeah. how these ideas come in conflict or are, are very much. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, conflict, conflict. But, but maybe. I think that it's, it's, if, if uh, when we express by word, okay, your individual individual creativity is very important. But in actual practice, maybe you have you have uh, you also experience that there are many students that not show their own creativity, not necessarily. So um, maybe maybe some, some many people think. Um, or they don't think they realize that creativity is uh, uh, realized collectively. Uh, maybe the individual, if, uh, if individual, yeah, yes, individual uh, crea crea creativity is, yes, I, I, I know the importance in, in my idea, uh, but maybe the, the, the main topic was the, the uh, Creativity uh, should be realized through some collective, collective, yeah, collective, yeah, collective. Yeah, so the part, so the element of creativity is facilitated. So uh, if the, each student uh, follows the facial imitation, the uh, the total uh, society becomes expressed with some different. Uh, some um, some uh, creativity over imagination. So maybe if, if, uh, maybe we can if you, we are musicians, we can uh, create such kind of <laughs> kind of strange because, because the, the every 15 minutes we come. So this is maybe it's not the result of the, the individual creativity. Maybe some. Uh, some several parts. Maybe it must be the result of several each part were following his own teacher basically. And this uh, this uh, part also facing basically and following the, the custom facing from face faces everywhere. So that the result is a very uh, extraordinary result. Uh, space spacious <coughs> I also think that the creativity you can in terms of art or um, theater is just a result. It's not like you're trying to create something totally new, different from your teacher, but when you basically follow how a teacher does things, 
As a result, somehow you realize there's something different. You just can't totally eat it. You cannot, when, whenever you perform on something, whenever you say something, you cannot be exactly the same. You feel a little bit different. And then as a result, you realize there's something different about me from the teacher. But that's something that you're, uh, you realize much, much later. So until you get to that point, teacher, the teacher will tell you, follow, you have to basically follow. But then teacher actually tell you, you really find something about yourself while you're doing that. So don't think about being great in the beginning. But you realize. Not only in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, yeah, we are And inside the community, they are talking about all oh, one I'm doing the different thing from my teacher. But it's always. Um, um, based on the actual uh, uh, organization. But uh, officially, officially, and basic idea, uh, we are not uh, just for 